good morning dear aspirants our daily current affairs analysis will greatly helpful for you to clear the prelims very easily and also to it will make your preparation very easy so to start with the first news of today is uh, lieutenant governor of delhi recover 97 crore from uh, aam aadmi party for political advertisement there was a recent tussle war happening between the lieutenant governor and cm of delhi accordingly for prelims point of view we have to study lieutenant governor of delhi the power of lieutenant governor uh, so this comes under cooperative federalism gs2 so this governor lieutenant governor of delhi has executive functions so he exercises his power in matter that is related to public order police and land so this the power actually given to the lieutenant governor city delhi act 1991 a uh, transaction of business of government of nct 1993 uh, this is uh, very important apart from that uh, you need to understand the difference between the lieutenant governor of delhi and puducherry there are only subtle difference so this article 239 and 239 aa 239 aa that uh, also uh, nct of delhi act 1991 that defines delhi is a union territory for that reason the center whose eyes and ears are left hand governor it has more prominent power I mean that the left hand governor of delhi has more prominent power and role than puducherry so the delhi assembly has all the power to legislate on all the state subject except this three this is important for po uh, prelims police law and order land puducherry assembly can also legislate on any issue under the state list and current concurrent they don't have any exception like this three so whatever uh, if the law is passed by the state assembly which comes into the conflict means then the law passed by the parliament will prevails so recently union territory of jammu kashmir has also left on governor he has all the power with respect to police law and order land is not under this ambit this is very important yes so the next news is three more sites added to the tentative list of unesco so it comes under gs1 indian heritage site so as of 2022 there are 40 world heritage site which is located in india so that comes 32 or cultural seven or natural only kanchenjunga national park is of mixed type so remember this national park and india has the sixth largest number of sites in the world the first site is ajanta ellora caves agra fort and taj mahal the most recent site that is listed in unesco in 2021 is dolavira and ramappa okay so three new cultural sites uh, that have been uh, added in the tentative list of unesco that is iconic sun temple at modara historic vadnagar town in gujarat and rock cut relief sculptures of onakoti in tripura so this you may expect in match the following or uh, in choice post statement type of question in prelims tentative list is nothing but initially the government state uh, central government should add some uh, site which has a great importance that should be added in the tentative list for the nomination purpose so after that the committee will recommend into the world heritage list the next news is navy takes delivery of submarine wagir let's see about this so project 75 project 75 as we discussed in the previous session also that is a program by the indian navy that build a six scorpion class attack submarines this, this was manufactured by mazogon dock limited and uh, the technical assistance is provided by france so already three submarines has been commissioned into the indian navy that is ins kalwari ins kanderi and ins karanj so wagir or under the construction so this submarines or diesel electric propulsion system and they have the ability to remain submerged for 21 days and the submarine has superior stealth features 
this is important so the next news is if un is not reformed that may be overtake by other organization stalled by the world forum so this is important for gs2 important internal institution so un security council has was established by un charter in 1945 this is very important and one of the most important organ of un the other five uh, six principal organ one among them is unsc the other five organ are general assembly trusteeship council economic and social council icj international court of justice and the secretary the main purpose of the unsc is to to maintain international peace and security and the council is located at uh, head, headquarters is located at new york so the council has 15 members five permanent members and 10 non permanent members india for the eighth time it has entered as the non permanent member last year so the next issue is uh recently opposition party uh, alleges that misuse of nhrc by the center so this comes under gs2 statutory body so national human rights commission is an independent statutory body established in 1993 under the provision of human rights act and it was established with the conformity with the uh, paris principles okay <coughs> so this is a multi member body consist of a chair person uh, and five full time members and so uh, a person who has been the chief justice of india or a judge of supreme court can become a chairman and chairman members are appointed by the president they can be removed only on the judge charges of proved misbehavior or incapacity limbs point of view as well as you can write this an example for mains so have a nice day keep work hard for the exam to clear thank you so much